Have you ever accidentally sat on your thumb and it felt really good? No? Yeah, me either. Well, that's what using a shotgun in COD feels like. I mean, if I were to guess. So today, we'll be getting the KV Broadside Orion. So to start us out, I'm gonna be using this blueprint that I got in the Battle Pass because I just really like how it looks. It's like an iridescent look. I'm pretty sure there's a sniper that has the same kind of blueprint. But while going through the camos, I found out that the solid color camos look really good on it. And you guys know how much I love the solid color camos. Any blueprint that I can use that make them look better, I'm all for. But the hard thing is choosing a color. I think I really want to go with pink. White also looks really good. The charcoal looks nice. I, I, I think I'll start with pink and maybe we'll switch it up later. But that's not even the important camos we're looking at. Uh, we have these four base camos that were added in with this weapon. And this is what we need to get done. So for our first camo, which is another solid color camo they added into the game, is unplumbed. You need to get 50 kills with the broadside, and I already got that done leveling it up. For our next camo, we have a really long name that I'm not going to try to pronounce because that's too much work. But for this, you need to get 20 point blank kills with the shotgun, which on paper shouldn't be too bad, but I just know how point blanks work, and this is going to be really annoying to get done. Then we have the urethral, oh, I mean ethereal rampage where we have to get 10 double kills with it, and we're already more than halfway there. And we need to get 20 one-shot one kills with this weapon, and that shouldn't be too hard. Shotguns normally are a one-shot kill. And then after we get all that done, we can move on to our mastery camos here, which we need to get three kills without dying 10 times. 25 long-shot kills, which... Hopefully it won't be too bad with slugs. And then 25 headshots with the broadside. And then we'll have Orion. And just a little sneak peek at what it looks like with this blueprint because it is beautiful. Well, that's enough of my blabbering. Let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done. All right, we're on Farm 18. This is probably the best map in the game at launch. One of my favorite maps for the beta as well. And it's not going to be that bad for uh, some short-range weapons like the shotgun. At least I hope not. Let's not give ourselves the camo curse this early. Okay, well. Oh, but first, the most important thing. Let's take a little peek at this blueprint with a solid color camo on it. I think it looks really nice. The blue doesn't match as well as I thought it would, though. We might have to switch it up. Oh, what's going on, pal? Point blank and a one-shot, one kill. Easy progress. Hopefully this guy don't see us. Oh, he really don't. Let's go. Another point blank. I just know how much of a struggle it was trying to get point blanks with SMGs. I don't really remember as a shotgun grind too much, but... I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier. One thing we have not seen yet is a double kill. Maybe we can change that right here. Anyone else want to peek me? Anybody? No? Cool. All oh, right, there's a few people over here by A. Let's take a little bit of the battle meth. Oh, there's two people. Oh. Okay, I don't know if that counts. I might need to take the throwing knife off the class. This is what happened with the crossbow, too. I don't feel like it counts for kills for camos by meleeing with the throwing knife, but it does count for XP. I remember that much. But we do have a VTOL now, so let's uh, do that, and maybe it'll push them inside. Now, I wonder if you can cheese the double kills in this game. I haven't really tried it. Like, if my VTOL gets a kill, and then I get a kill right after it, it says the pop-up double kill. But do both kills need to be with the shotgun? That's a whole lot of kill in one sentence, but this could be pretty nice if this works. Oh, here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. Fucked them both up. I just hit my will I am too. Oh, does somebody want to give me another double kill? Fine. I guess so. I'll take it. Oh. If that throwing knife hit, that would have been nasty. Oh, jeez. Well, there's a little bit of a bittersweet grind because this is going to be our last camo grind until they add in another weapon. They're going to have to wait till mid-season. Maybe that's why they delayed the crossbow to try to appease people like me, but I just want to get everything done. It'd be sweet if they just dropped 20 guns at once. I know that's like very not feasible. But wouldn't that be awesome? It'll probably completely disrupt like any meta into the game because there's just so many weapons coming in at once. But I would just love to have infinite things to do. So far, this weapon blueprint doesn't seem like it's the worst. COD has definitely put out worse builds for cool looking blueprints. Oh, where'd you go? I climb up here and you drop down? Why? Oh, that's why. But now that we are onto our last weapon of the season, I gotta say... The variety of weapons they added in, or at least the weapons that they did put into the game, are pretty good for this season. I had a lot of fun using the new AR. The crossbow, of course, is amazing if you get your hands on it early. Ooh, the dual kadochis, the, the dual swords, a lot of fun to use. Or maybe that's because I'm biased and I really like melee weapons. The shotgun isn't that bad either, and hopefully with the marksman rifle, it can continue that trend. I want to have like a fun marksman rifle. Overall, though... 
I think if they just added a few more maps to the season, it would have been perfect. They added basically like everything I wanted and I still haven't even gotten to it all. So I still got ranked to play. Uh, I've been really looking forward to getting into that because people are telling me it's kind of like Apex ranked and I used to play a lot of Apex. I got to check it in DMZ and we're getting all these party modes. Hopefully COD just keeps trending in the right direction because I think they, they took one step forward with this update. Just a slight step. After one game, we got our double kills done. Halfway there on our one shot, one kills. And our point blanks are moving up. But I do have to change the solid color. Let's try out the charcoal. We'll see how that works. My like map RNG the last few days has been amazing on quick play. I've been just getting all the maps that I actually want to play. I haven't seen border crossing like once. I have a feeling they might have tweaked it. And honestly, if they did, go on COD. Because I like hardly ever do quick play. I have, like shipment or shoot house playlist being out on my Lanta both of us were just spraying at nothing but since this update has added like the season two mosh pit and i haven't really been a big fan of playing on museum quick play has been a nice alternative and honestly i think they just need to do a better job at making quick play playlists or just playlists that you can just drop into and know you're not gonna have to like go searching around for a map because that would make the flow of going like game to game trying to grind something out or just trying to play a, a lot better and faster you go Eat that shit, bitch. Oh. Come here. I'm going to point blank. There we go. Wait. How is that not a point blank? Oh, I hate this game sometimes. How's... Okay, maybe I shouldn't jump. I feel like it gives me a little more time to, like, adjust my shot. There we go. Yeah, so I just cannot be jumping for a point blank. That's so weird. There's so many like weird rules to point blanks. And I know what people are going to say is you can't aim down for point blanks. You definitely can. You just need to be close to somebody. But I think being at different like elevations from someone just it doesn't register that you're close to them. It's a little weird, but like, what are we going to do about it? Oh, there we go. Are we all done with point blanks now? We got to be real close. Shotguns are just so cheesy, dude. What? Where did my shot go? Did I just pull away last second? I must have. Oh, hey, pal. Lele. Lay. Tell me that's it. Go ahead. Show me the challenge. All right. Oh, we just need two more point blank kills and we're good. Let's go. These camels are flying by. This quick play luck is just unreal. We got shoot house. I'm telling you, there's something in the water in quick play. It's magic right now. Here we go. That's one point blank and two. Hopefully. Yes, sir. Now you get three kills without dying. Let's start working on this gold challenge. We were just cooking these camos. Now, something I've always wondered is if you're already on a streak when you unlock the gold camo challenge. Like, if I had two kills right there. If I were to get the third kill after I unlock the gold challenge, does that count for gold? I kind of want to back out of this game and, and check my theory. I don't want to lose shoot house. I'll try to keep track of how many actual ones I have and see if it counted. That's, that's the only way we can do this while being efficient. Okay, so far that's one. Come on, that's two. There we go. Now we're at two or three kills without dying. I'm really doing this for the science. This is COD game theory. Speaking of game theory, I'm not going to lie. I'm a sucker for those FNAF videos. Every time Matt Pat uploads, I'm like, all right, let's see what purple guy's up to. What's Michael Afton doing? What's that little rascal scheming? And how does Golden Freddy fit into it? That's my YouTube guilty pleasure. Okay, so that should be three. Three kills without dying. If we have more than that, then my theory's right. If not, then I'm an idiot. Okay, four three kills without dying. This shotgun's nice. This is not a bad weapon. This is literally a brainless tool. This is just a point and click adventure. You just have to do a lot of clicking. I'm crazy. I don't think that counts for, for my three kills not dying, but that was a nice play. Okay. Now we have four three kills without dying. All right, that's the game. Time to test our theory. So if I got three kills without dying five times, that means I was right. Oh, let's go. Okay, cool. Right, that's good to know. And we're already halfway through this challenge. This is sweet. And now I just removed the camo so we can just use the whole iridescence of this weapon. I'm telling you, dude, quick play has the sauce right now we got shipment let's just hope that i can stay alive at least three kills length alive but this map was made for this i might even be able to get long shots on here i'll just need to switch out to slugs oh what i hit that no way that was a nasty throwing knife i didn't need to do all that i already have a VTOL, but i'm not calling that in VTOLs on shipment just make people leave i need all these people to stay in 
I will call in the UAV though. I might need to throw on the drum mag to this. I'm like running out of ammo at crucial times. We're doing it right now. We're breaking the blueprint. Give me the drum. Uh, let's get rid of, I guess the muzzle. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. There we go. Nice little triple. Oh. There we go. That's it, baby. Now we need long shots. Let's see if we can get any. Holy shit. All we got was eight flashes in a row and a nade. I can't see anything. You know what? I'm calling it a VTOL to buy me time to change out my class. Where is damage range? There it is. We might actually be able to get away with not using slugs for right now. I can kind of just spam and hope that I get a long shot. I think that's a long shot. Maybe. Maybe not. That is for sure. We are just going off right now. But I can't see for like 90% of this game. I'm just getting flashed every three seconds. Maybe I should put on slugs and then just try to aim with it. Oh, there we go. Okay, slugs on this is kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie. Woohoohoo! Disgusting. This gun is not okay. Okay, it's really not okay. We might be able to get like damn near everything done in one game. That's if I can fucking see the game. Holy shit. I would love if there was a perk in this game that would minimize the amount of blindness you get from flashes, but battle hard in this game or whatever the hell it's called barely does anything. It's basically useless. Ooh. Oh no. We still made it out with 67 kills though. And a decent amount of long shots on top of unlocking gold that game. That was great. Shipments goaded, man. I, I mean, it, it's a little boring to play on it all the time, but like you can't deny the amount of progress you get. Oh yeah, we had 10 that game. That's pretty good. These long shots are cake, dude. They're less than 20 meters. All I need is a map with like a, a good flow to it like this one. We I mean, can kind of just drill these out. I was saying, oh, I just need a map with a good flow. I can get long shots from anywhere. I have six kills this game. Look at the score of it. We've been going for a minute. The duality of this game. Yo-yo so hard. I just dropped like 80 kills on shipment, Dan Near. And now I can't even get double digits. Now... I do fucking suck, but I feel like the game should be a little more consistent than that. Oh yeah, we got rocked, but we got some progress on our long shots. That's all that matters. Is that it? Come on. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Now I can get rid of all these slugs and actually use this somewhat normally. We got shipment again. This is beautiful. If I can't get the rest of my headshots on this map, I honestly don't deserve them. Okay, let's get RPG'd right at the start. Sets the tone for the game. Maybe I should just be aiming in with it. Maybe that'll help. I'll narrow my pellet spread by doing it. There we go. Keep them coming. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Oh, no! I was given the perfect opportunity of spawning right next to three people not looking at me, and I fumbled. If there's a way for the camo curse to sneak up on me, it'll always happen. Even if it's just like just to say fuck you every once in a while like it did right there with that spawn it knew i was gonna get those kills it just wanted to tease me we are kind of smacking these headshots right now come on is that it no we gotta be getting so close here we can finish this entire gun right now all we need is a little head i'm not asking for much just a little bit of dome oh wait it gave me the spawn again Okay, I got one out of it. I, I literally just ran past them all. I didn't even notice. Okay. We are getting headshots like a motherfucker right now. Oh, now that's got to be it. I'm going to say that after every headshot. That's it right there. No, that one's it, actually. I changed my mind. That got to be holding it back for me. I'm getting robbed. Severely robbed. Is it not headshots for this camo? Am I high? Okay, the game's over. If I didn't just get Orion and miss it, then this game's cursed and it's fucking with me and it's not fair. Come on, show me polyatomic. Oh, it is there. When did I get it? Okay, well, 
Let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what our KV broadside looks like with Polyatomic. Again, the private match in this game is kind of busted, so I can't use hardcore. So I apologize for the HUD, but uh, I kept the blueprint on here because I just think it looks really good with Polyatomic and what we're going to see in Orion here in a second. All right, this is what the KV broadside looks like with Orion, and this is a beautiful looking weapon. I love the updated Orion, how it moves so much faster, and just the weapon or the camo coverage in this game game is unmatched it's all perfect except for the the dual kadochis but those get a pass because they look really good solid colored camos anyways this gun looks pretty great i like it but now we are officially done with all the new season two weapons it's a little bittersweet we won't have any more camos to grind until the mid-season point until season two reloaded but it, it was pretty fun getting them all done like I said, all these weapons are, are pretty good, but I think that's where we're going to be ending it today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your guys' support. You truly changed my life forever, and I am very grateful for it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.